President Trump uses his last move to stop the CCP's infiltration of the West. And we talk about last night's events in Washington. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today is all about China and the CCP with all the cover-ups and all the chaos that they've been creating. Uh, well, I was going to say recently, but it's been happening for a long time. They've been they managed to cover up a lot of things until 2020. Things are coming out. We've just had a, a data leak of CCP members in the West, in major corporations, and also the fact that some of the, the top rich businessmen are disappearing randomly. So first, let's start with uh, what happened the last couple of days. You've already heard in the news that uh, the World Health Organization were going to send a team to China to investigate the whole situation and the Chinese government blocked them. Now, the excuse that they had was that you know, the two of these members were already on their way going towards uh, uh, China and uh, they said, you know, there are issues with, the, with their visa clearances. Now, the Chinese government said that, no, there were no issues. Then why didn't you let them in if there were no issues? So this has been happening for the past uh, day or two and uh, we're still waiting for the, the actual updates to see uh, what the World Health Organization are going to be doing. I think they've been un under a lot of pressure in the last few months, uh, uh, WHO, that they, they feel like they need to show some sort of independence against China so that they don't get accused of being in the pocket of Beijing. Uh, but uh, we've had some bad news recently. Uh, three days ago, we heard that uh, Jack Ma, uh, who's one of the Chinese billionaires, uh, had completely disappeared. He's missing and uh, well, he's been criticizing the the that state corporatist system that uh, the CCP have created in the in the name of capitalism and uh, the name of global trade, especially when it comes to the financial sector, specifically because of what they've been doing in places like Africa. Now, he has not made any public appearance in the past several weeks since he criticized China's state financial system and advocated for reforms. Well, why would you do that? You know what's going to happen to you when you advocate for reforms in China. Um, and this is a, obviously it's getting quite dark these days. Uh, a lot of people are disappearing. We know what's happening in Hong Kong. And uh, China are very focused on uh, their plan to infiltrate the West globally, everywhere, not just the West. They've been infiltrating Africa. They recently bought Iran. Uh, and uh, they've recently signed a deal with uh, the European Union. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in this video as well. Uh, and also we're going to mention how Donald Trump is trying his best to stop this before uh, if he's uh, before he leaves office. Now, the, it, this guy uh, is actually, uh, Jack Ma is the founder of uh, the e-commerce platform uh, Alibaba. Uh, that's actually quite linked to the story about President Trump as well. And now, in Hong Kong, China have been causing a lot of uh, issues uh, with the citizens and uh, even... Uh, foreign office in the UK have now uh, come out to speak out against uh, their security law uh, measures that it's, it's just idiotic. It makes absolutely no sense. They're going so authoritarian publicly because you know, everything that they've been doing uh, with data collection in China, with the CCTV, with the, you know, the ID cards and everything like that, and the apps that they've been creating. Now in Hong Kong, these security laws, they're just going to be completely clamping down on any movement, any opposition voice. And, you know, someone has to actually do something about it. Because, yes, the Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab has come out to uh, say that uh, the mass arrest of politicians and activists in Hong Kong are bad. Stop doing this. This demonstrate that China's authorities are misleading the world. Uh, the UK will not turn our backs on the people of Hong Kong and will continue to offer British nationals the right to live and work in the UK. Fine. I mean, at least we have offered them asylum and you know well, the right to actually come and live here and work that's fine but are we going to do anything about china at this point or are we just gonna just say not nice words and just be like oh yes you're a naughty naughty government ccp stop doing that there's absolutely no plan from the uk side uh, but in america president trump has just uh, issued an executive order to ban uh, transactions with a number of uh, payment apps that come from China because of the bulk data collection, it's all the dodgy dealings that they've been doing. And one of the apps is actually Alibaba as well. Now, um, so the move hits uh, Alipay, the payment platform and sister business to Alibaba owned by Jack Ma uh, and the giant group and, um, and group. Uh, it also bans on uh, national security grants, transactions, uh, a lot of uh, apps, WeChat, 
a lot of people use WeChat, QQ, uh, Wallet, Share It. A lot of people use that. Cam Scanner, definitely. Uh, so all these uh, apps that are currently uh, they've been hit uh, because of the way they've been doing data collection. Now, a lot of people are also concerned about a number of other bigger companies, including Zoom and others, because there are some uh, obviously Chinese backers behind them, but also the Chinese uh, businesses also own a number of uh, bigger non-technological businesses in the West in the UK. We have pub chains in the UK. I believe it's Green King that's now owned, it's, uh, the, the owners are Chinese. And so it's not just tech, they're going everywhere. Uh, so this is uh, what President Trump is doing. The problem for Trump and America is that while the ban underlines the Trump administration's China's uh, strategy, it won't enter into force for 45 days, meaning Biden uh, is going to be uh, in charge of it. So. Now, it's not clear yet how the Biden administration plans to proceed on this order or on President Trump's uh, general approach to China. Now, is he going to continue the ban or is he going to, going to continue the, the hardcore approach against China or is he going to make a U-turn? Now, we don't really know exactly what Biden has, <laughs> if, if he has any plan in terms of this area because a lot of uh, dodgy dealings has to happen between the Democrats and a number of Bad, bad governments and countries around the world, including Iran. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see what this guy might be doing. Now, the data leak that came out uh, last month is now proved, uh, after a few weeks, it's now definitely been proven that a number of, I think about 2 million uh, members of the CCP are currently in the West, not just living in the West, they have top positions in big firms and global, especially financial markets and, and banks and other companies as well. We have a list of some of the companies. Uh, so we got Boeing, um, Volkswagen, two of the pharmaceutical giants, Pfizer and AstraZeneca. <laughs> no comment. I don't know comment. I'm not going to make any speculation on this. But Pfizer and AstraZeneca, they're in there too. Uh, you got HSBC, that's obvious. And then a number of other um, banks and other well, non-financial sector companies as well, but basically yeah, about 2 million members of the CCP are currently just, just quietly causing trouble um, across the world. And uh, if we weren't th thanks to the Australians for actually exposing this, otherwise no one would have known. Uh, this is a not really good timing, considering the European Union decided to you know, become allies with China. They recently had an agreement in the name of investment and money. It's all about money. Uh, they're now best friends with China. It's, it's very fascinating how, uh, despite the, the backlash, uh, Brussels are still quite keen. And they have no idea. I mean, unless they're doing it on purpose, this is going to uh, have a counterproductive uh, uh, outcome in terms of uh, what's going to happen for the EU27 countries and also the people, just ordinary people, not just businesses and the establishments, the governments. It's going to be quite weird, but we've had Remainers who are defending this. Uh, and then the same Remainers and Rejoiners, let's call them Rejoiners, who over the last couple of nights have been coming out to say, why is Boris Johnson always uh, you know, making speeches on TV? And, you know, he's got the union flag in the background. Uh, they're criticizing it. Oh, is it like Germany all over again? I mean, why? I mean, probably for the same reason that Ursula von der Leyen always has the EU flag in the background. Maybe it's for the same reason that President Macron has the French flag in the background all the time. Maybe, let's, okay, these are Europeans, let's go British. Maybe it's the same reason that Nicola Sturgeon has the Scottish flag in the background. Okay, one more. Maybe that's why Drakeford has the Welsh flag, although it doesn't know how to actually fly properly, properly but yeah, that's the Welsh flag. Um, so yeah, maybe that's, that's the same reason. Um, the, the situation is, like what happened in Washington last night, and uh, the European Union being so complacent about China. That's a whole separate issue. But Washington, the chaos that we saw yesterday, and uh, I don't think it's going to calm down yet, but Chinese officials have been making fun of the West. They've been making fun of what's happening in America and across, across the Western world, and they're just laughing at us. Now, the issue I have with this is that we know what happened last night. It was absolutely chaotic, and uh, there are a lot of speculations in terms of why it actually happened. Could President Trump actually have stopped it before he got bad, uh, before he made that video? And then now Twitter's basically taken down his account. And uh, there were speculations about a number of 
uh, hard left uh, members infiltrating the, the, the protest. The, what, all I care about, regardless of who did what and who started it, is that the people lost their lives. And I mean, as a Brit, in a weird way, I'm, I've been saying this a lot in terms of the difference between political systems. With all the flaws of constitutional monarchy and the royal family, and a lot of people don't like the royal family, I'm, I've always been quite concerned about the republic as a concept. People think that republic, because you elect your head of state, that means it's more people power. But no, you're simply, you're, you're still having a boss on top of the government telling you what to do. The difference is some of you just vote for that person. The difference is it does create division. Now, America has been one of the best experiments we've had like in recent history. Best modern democracy. Great constitution. And uh, when it started, the way it went up, absolutely brilliant. Um, it couldn't have happened anywhere else. Over the last century, the whole project has been slowly going down for a number of reasons, with the lefties, with uh, making America European in a bad way. The whole mentality has changed. Now a lot of the, the people in America now expect handouts like in, like in Europe. That's why you have Bernie Sanders doing quite well in certain states. This is now completely chaotic. And Ben Shapiro and people like that have been warning for the past few years, before Trump was elected, saying that there will be civil conflicts, a massive one, in America in the next 50 to 100 years, or probably less now, because it has the potential as a country, as a culture, as a political system, it does have that potential, unfortunately. So all I'm going to say is that, ideally speaking, you want both sides to calm down. But it's not happening right now. I'm just happy that I'm British, not in America. Uh, I know a lot of Americans watch this channel. Uh, we are going to talk about this more when we actually have more information about what the outcome is going to be. Um, is this going to be continuing? Uh, are the hard left going to come out now to counter it? Um, and in the next few days and few weeks, We'll keep you guys posted, but at this point, all I'm focusing on is that some people, a number of people have lost their lives, a lot of people got injured, and it was unnecessary. So, but yeah, don't forget about what actually happened, what caused it, and you know, the, the way the Democrats have been handling the whole situation, and the whole election, the, 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 everything has been just weird all over the place, and the media's role. Um, so keep that in mind, um, and we'll keep you guys posted on this issue as well, because it's going to be the main focus now, apparently, in the next few days. Uh, but this is, yeah, China has been doing this. We've had British politicians rejoin us, like Carolyn Lucas, coming out to say, you know, horrific scenes, and you know, democracy should be defended, hashtag defend democracy. I mean, Caroline, is this you? I'm pretty sure it's you, Caroline. You know, going on the Remain marches, we already have the best deal, let's cancel the referendum, cancel the vote, forget about democracy. It wasn't just Caroline. There were a number of other left-wing Ramonas who have been uh, tweeting yesterday about this. Are you joking me? The hypocrisy. I, the lack of self-awareness is on a whole different level. So I'm really worried about these people. And uh, the consequences, a lot of uh, people on the left who follow people like Caroline Lucas. And just be careful with your words, Caroline. It does matter. Words matter when it comes to leadership. So uh, <laughs> this, I don't understand what they were doing yesterday, but, but yeah, the lack of awareness. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, we're going to talk about a number of issues in the next video, especially uh, Scotland and the SNP and the BBC, because they are now going to be tagging their own employees uh, using taxpayers' money. So make sure to tune in, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to use your January special discount uh, for our I Believe in Person merchandise. Uh, Brexit 10. Uh, ch check out the link in the description. Get your merchandise. I believe in Britain too. <laughs> I'm my ATC. I'll see you guys in the next video.